So this is Black Ops 3. It's a kill confirmed gameplay on the map EVAC. So what's kill confirmed? If you're new to the world and you were just born yesterday, you might not understand what kill confirmed is. Basically, it's like team deathmatch, except you got to confirm your kills. When you kill somebody, instead of getting 100 points, you get 50 points, and they drop some dog tags. See there? There's some dog tags. Look at the dog tags. I obviously joined this map late. Late! But whatever. I'm going to go ahead and play it anyway. Um, so they drop dog tags. you got to pick them up to confirm your kill, and you get another 50 points. Also, you can pick up uh, your the, the dog tags that fall off of your teammates, and you can get points for that too. And also, since you're picking up those dog tags, you're denying... The dog tags from the enemy, so you're preventing them from getting the kill, which is nice. Anyway, this is kill confirmed, and it's a lot of fun. But there's some things that I have learned about Black Ops 3. I've been playing it a lot more since my last video, which was Wednesday, which was actually recorded on a Saturday. This is a Friday upload, and that was also recorded on a Saturday, actually before my last upload. But anyway, things that I have learned. Silencers suck. They decrease the damage that you give and the accuracy. So what used to be maybe a three or four hit marker kill is now a five hit markers but no kill. <laughs> that makes me angry. Uh, but anyway, don't use a silencer. They suck. Oh well, you're going to be giving away your position. Well, you know what? Maybe your gameplay and your game style is a rushing type game style where you're constantly flanking and you and you just instinctively know where the enemy is at all times, and you're really good at shooting them in the back, go with a silencer. That's the game. That's the attachment for you. But for me, that's not the case. For me, I run around like a chicken with his head cut off, and if I see an enemy, I shoot him. And I count on the fact that I have better gun skill and a quasi better reaction time, and I kill them. So, yeah, silencer's not for me, because the silencer drops off enough damage and accuracy and all that other stuff to the point where they have enough time to turn around, face me, and go crazy with their aim and end up hitting me. So I don't use silencers anymore. It took me about a day of gaming about 10 total maps to realize that the silencer sucks, and I was getting super frustrated. But So I moved on. I moved on from the silencer. I'm not going to use it anymore. I don't give a crap if they know where I am. In fact... I have changed my game style so that when I do shoot off my unsilenced gun, I assume that the enemy knows where I am and they're coming at me right now. So I set up accordingly. Either I'll evacuate from the position I was, I was at before, or I'll recognize that my position really only has one entrance, which is rare for a Black Ops 3 map, and I'll set up aiming down sights to shoot them as they come around the corner. Anyway, it's up to your playstyle. I hate silencers, so I'm not going to use them. The other thing I learned about this game, it's all about connection. So here I am. I'm running forward. If there's another enemy who's running forward and we see each other at the same time, what? who's going to get the kill? I'll tell you right now. If you have the better connection, you have a really good chance of getting the kill, even if you don't have aiming skills. If you have a bad connection and you have aiming skills you're gonna lose to people with good connections and bad aiming skills the other thing fire rate fire rate is key it's king fire rate is king in this game if you can somehow keep your bullets in the same area and you have a really high fire rate you're more than likely gonna win all of your engagements and that's just the way it is so here's what i'm going for for review high fire rate no silencer, and run away when you shoot your gun off because the enemy team knows where you're at. So that's what I've learned. And uh, yeah, it took a, it was very painful learning it, but I learned it, and I'm ready to move on. So, actually, I got some more things that I learned. <laughs> I know it sounded like I was done, but I'm not. So this is team, no, this is kill confirmed, which is very similar to team deathmatch. There's really no objective. Uh, you're just trying to kill the enemy team before the enemy team kills you and There is a bonus score multiplier for confirming your kills by picking up enemy dog tags and Preventing the enemy team from picking up your teammates dog tags So there's some minor objectivity to it, but it ain't nothing like a domination or a capture the flag So let's talk about domination first. So with domination 
the enemy is going to be coming from the zones that they have controlled. <laughs> zones <laughs> controlled. I know it sounds like I'm talking about Destiny, but that's because I've been playing Destiny for a year. Excuse me. I'm sorry. So moving on. The control points that they own is where they're going to spawn. So if you have A and B, they're going to be at C. And they're always going to be at C. And they're always going to be traveling from C to the other control zones. Control whatever. So that makes sense. In Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch, wherever your team is, the enemy is spawning somewhere else. And unless you're really paying attention, you don't know where that somewhere else is, and it becomes very chaotic. So if, you are, if you're the kind of person who really sucks with reaction time, like I do, and you're more of a aim down sights, using your gun skill and your aiming ability to kill people, Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed and Slayer, it's not for you. You really need to get in an objective type game mode because you're more than likely going to know where the enemy's coming from. Was that a plus 75? I think that was a plus 75. Do you get 75 points for a kill? And 50 points for a confirm? Hmm. That's a little bit contradictory to what I said at the beginning of the map. Look at this. What is that? Oh, I missed a kill. Did I miss it again? Okay, okay, it's 50. Never mind. Shutting up. 100 points for a confirm. 50 for a kill, 100 points for a confirm. Moving on to what I was talking about. So I've been playing a lot of Capture the Flag. Why? Because I know where the enemy is. And that is my biggest weakness, is I have no idea where they're coming from. If I, if I have no idea where they're coming from, I'm going to get surprised and I'm going to get shot in the back, shot in the side, I'm going to miss them, I'm not going to be looking where I'm supposed to be looking, that kind of thing. Cash the flag. You're going to have people that are defending, and they're always going to be in the same camping spots with their two-shot LMG or a sniper rifle or whatever. And... You can kill them easily, or they're going to be rushing and trying to take your flag, in which case you can hang back and defend, just like the guys on the other team that I was just talking about, and you can get some easy kills. Either way, they're going to be moving either from west to east or north to south, and it's not going to change until you go to the next round. It's a lot easier to figure out where the enemy is. The enemy is in front of you, and that's the key. So if you're having some problems in Team Deathmatch and Slayer and, or whatever you're playing, go play a domination type game mode where you can just use your common sense to understand where the enemy is. And once you get better with the maps and you understand how the spawns work, because the game is still kind of new and maybe you don't understand it yet, and I definitely don't understand it, then you can kind of sneak your way into Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed and kind of work your magic and understand where the enemy is going to be and what kind of spawns they got. There you go. So that's my best advice for you, the person who's playing Call of Duty like I am and, not, and kind of struggling. Because I have been struggling. I have been struggling royally in Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed. Not so much at all in Capture the Flag and Domination. There you go. Oh, look at there. I, got a, I guess I had some kind of streak going on where I had all these things. You know what? If you rewind the video, you'll see that I had those streaks for a while. And for some reason, I just noticed it, so I triggered them. I still have a UAV, and I haven't even triggered that either. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and shut up now because I've been talking for a lot. Hey, and look, the video's over. But that is all the time for I have for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know about your experiences with Black Ops 3, what you've learned, and what you hate about the game. It's been out for about a week. Well a week and a couple days and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time adios